Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Juic plugin. It is a plugin to rig and animate your character in After Effects. In this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to rig a character because I feel like rigging could be really tricky, especially for you who never rig a character before. So here we go. <laughs> So before we jump into the Adobe After Effects, we want to start with Adobe Illustrator first. This is where you want to create your character. And I've already made my character and I've made this file available for you to download as well. I've put the link in the description below. And basically what I did here, I separated all of the body parts, like um, the top leg from the bottom leg, even like the stomach, chest, neck, head, hat, everything separated. And it's really important to separate it so we can rig it easily in After Effects using the Juic plugin. And also I've made this guide layer, which is basically just like red dots to show where your join is. And this will be really helpful later on in After Effects when you actually create your rigging. So once you create a character and you, once you're happy with the character, let's jump into Adobe After Effects. and we want to import the character. So when you import your character, just want to make sure the settings under here, you want to change the import as footage to import as composition retain layer sizes. So it basically, the After Effects will preserve all of the illustrator layers that you have in your illustrator file, instead of like merging everything all together into one layer. And then once you import that, a composition will appear and as well as this folder that includes all of the illustrator layers that you have and basically you just want to drop the composition onto your main comp and I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit maybe 80 and then let's jump into this pre comp and I'm just gonna quickly color code this layers So once you're finished with color coding your layers, we can start reading with the Juic plugin. So if you don't have the Juic plugin, I've put the link in the description below for you to download. And if you do have, and you, if you have already installed your Juic plugin on your computer, so basically usually you would find it under window and just scroll down and look for Juic, which is this one. And just click on it. And we wanna go to rigging and click this icon which is create structure and we want to create a hominoid structure so structure is basically just the skeleton and once you click on it hominoid is just like the whole body structure it might take a couple of seconds for it to create the whole structures once it's done it'll create like this bunch of layers which basically a structure and yeah these guys are the structure so what you want to do is basically you want to move the structure, just the structure, not your illustrator layer, and just kind of like match it with all the red dots here. So I want to start with the hip. So these S hips, and this is your hips guide, and the spine, which is the stomach. Now we want to go with the arm. So this is the right arm. So I'm just going to rename this arms and leg structure. So like for example, this one is the right one. So underscore R, for skull, for arm underscore R. So once you're finished with renaming all of them, now it's time to just match it. So I'm going to start with the arm right. So that's where it is. And now with the legs. So this top one, thigh. Toes is pretty much the bottom 
or the ball of your toes now as you can see like the straps is kind of like flashing um, so I'm just gonna turn off the left um, leg structure so that we can see what's going on so let's go back to the toes just make sure you can't really see the red here because my sh the shoes that I have is pink that's probably my bad but that's fine you don't have to place it like exactly so tip toes just like the tip of your toes and heel basically I usually just put it on the corner of the foot somewhere there now I'm gonna turn off the right leg structures and turn the left leg structures back on and also I'm gonna turn off the actual left leg layers so we can see what's going on all right now we can turn everything back on the next thing that you want to do is to parent the illustrated layers onto the structure so head hair they can be parented to the S head which is structure head R hem so S hem R um, S arm R somewhere and so on and so forth it's basically pretty easy you just have to spend a bit of time to connect these guys so chest and belly the structure in the structure it's called spine one and spine two and let's just double check here which one is spine one and which one is spine two so spine one it looks like it's the bottom one which is the stomach and spine two is the top one which is the chest so belly we want to go with s spine and chest we want to go with s spine two now our foot So bangs, hat and face, that's gonna go with the head. Alright. I just kind of like messed up um, the left and the right. So basically what happened here, I'm just gonna show you quickly. So on the illustrator layer, the R arms are the one on on your right not on the characters right but on your right but on the structure let's see the R arms are actually put it on the other side that's why I messed up and I'm just gonna rename this again so I'm gonna name this L because it's on my left not on the characters left Yeah, so I've already renamed all of them. So let's just redo the parenting again. So R hand, look for the SR hand. Let's try this again. The next thing is to select all of the structures, go back to Juic, click on Rigging, and click on Links and Constraint, and click on Auto Rig. And it will take a couple of seconds for After Effects to rig your character. All right, once that finish, After Effects will create a whole bunch of new layers, these green layers. So these are the controllers. And basically you'd want to animate this layers so you don't really animate the structure or even the illustrated layers later on so what you want to animate is these green control layers so let's play around with this and now i'm just gonna hide all of the structure layer so I'm going to select all of the structure 
turn it off and then click on this icon which is called shy and turn this icon on so that it just hides the structure on the screen but also on the timeline so you don't really have to see it and I'm just gonna turn off this guide layer as well because we don't need it now let's play around again yeah so you can just like move the position and just rotate this hand move the other hand position as well and also if you wanna animate the leg you can move this up and down and obviously it's bended the wrong way because I want to I want the knee to face that way so what we can do when you click on the foot controller you can just select this reverse which is under IK foot L and click reverse it's basically just gonna reverse the direction of your leg or of your knee and your R foot same thing and this is ready for you to animate if you want to do walking cycle or running cycle i think another thing was also that um, i like to do is go under this option stretch and i'm gonna turn off the order stretch it's just so that when you animate this it doesn't stretch because like when the order stretch is on it's just gonna stretch it and we don't really want that we don't want it to be like that so i'm just gonna turn off the order stretch so your limbs won't be stretched and that also works with the arms or the hands so you can just turn that off and turn that off so that's how you rig a character some of you might find it pretty straightforward but some of you might find it uh, a bit difficult or a bit hard to understand and that's totally fine because to this day I still find it really complicated and yeah that's how you make a character using Juic plugin in After Effects and I will create another video on how to use Juic to actually animate your character to do a walking cycle and a running cycle um, again I'm not the best character animator out there I'm just gonna show you what I know and yeah thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you enjoy this tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments section below and I'll see you next time